Hi, so in video 1063, we built or we started to build a trike out of some plastic. That went so well that in 1066, we developed that into a quad and used the plastic to develop a prototype quad. We've now rebuilt the quad using bicycle parts and old shelving. It's actually super. So what we're going to do now is motorize that quad. Now in order to do that, I've got some more bicycle bits. So this bit is the bit after the bicycle uh, that used to hold the pedals. So that's the pedal bit. And I've got this little kiddies pedal here, which we took off some child's bike. So this is a chain size and that will actually fit really nicely onto there. Then of course we need to drive that. That being driven is what's going to turn that, link a chain to the wheel, that's our drive system. So to drive this, we need to stick a motor on it. And the motor I've got for, to try is this one. It's a DC 12 volt scooter motor I've had since, I don't know, 1980, I think, when I lived in Italy. So I've picked this up, eight millimeter diameter shaft. So I've got a couple with eight millimeter on that side and I completely forget what that side is. So what we're gonna do, obviously, is turn this down to fit this. So we turn that down, that goes in there, that pedal drive goes on there, and the motor goes on there, and then we weld this to the frame. So that's what we're going to do. First things first, get this out and turn it down to size. So there are my components. This bit and this bit form the frame, so that'll get welded on there actually, and that carries the axle. I've turned the axle down so that it now fits in there, cut that off. Uh, oh, other way around, there we go. It goes in there, cotter pin goes in there, and then this, which is our flexible couple, will now go down on the turn part of the axle, and obviously that goes back in there. So that actually makes our transmission. We can then put a normal bicycle chain from this to the chain wheel that we left on the original um, wheel. And then any eight millimeter motor is gonna go into that shaft there. So like I said, I'm gonna give this one a go, but if that doesn't work, we can put any motor we like in there because that's the transmission basically put together. Okay, let's weld that onto there. So I've welded that on at an angle. And clearly that bit goes in there. This bit goes on here. Back on with the bearing. And then on with the couple. There you go. So our transmission, <laughs> I love that, goes right here where we drilled four bolts. Now the more observant will have noticed there's some bolts welded in here. That's so when I fasten that down, I put the chain on, then the chain's going to have a little bit of slack. But by doing these bolts, what I can do is use that as a chain tensioner. Also, it allows me to swivel it backwards and forwards a little bit so that we can actually get those in line. Anyway, let's put that in. So there you go, motor attached, transmission, chain dive, all on this one wheel. Now if I give that a little bit of power. Okay, that bad boy works. Only one slight problem. The wheel is rotating that way, which means we'll be driving backwards. That's really, really irritating, you would think. But actually, there's a couple of bolts holding this. So I'll drop those bolts out, swap that round, re-bolt it on, and it'll drive the right direction. So that is the motor, transmission, and drive system for this little chassis. Okay, so that is the mechanics finished. So we've built the quad, we've added the motor and the transmission unit. The only thing we need now is a speed controller, clearly, because that thing belts along, okay? Now this came off a scooter, so it should be able to carry my weight and be able to propel this. I've ordered a speed controller, we'll have the speed controller and then take this for a test run out in the car park. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series so far and thank you very much for watching.